The first part of this video concerns the up, down, left, right, OK and pause buttons. The right, left, up and down buttons correspond to the arrows on the large section in the middle of the remote. These buttons, up, down, left and right, help you navigate around the ribbon, up to the ribbon, down to the submenus, left and right across the submenus. These arrows also help you navigate up and down, left and right, within every section of Streambox. During this video and all other videos on how to operate Streambox, we refer to these arrows as up, down, left and right. The large OK button serves two purposes. One is to confirm or cancel a menu. The other is to pause during playback of the streams. The next section covers the rest of the buttons used on the remote for the operation within Streambox. We'll take them one by one. The play pause button is used during playback of streams to temporarily stop a stream. If you press the button again, the stream will continue. The stop button is used to stop a stream. The return button is one of the most important buttons on the remote. This is used to go back from one part of the menus to another. You use the return button to go back through the menus to the ribbon. The submenu button is used to bring up additional menus during the playback or during the selection of a stream. See the submenu operation in other videos. The volume button is used to turn up the volume or turn down the volume on playback of streams. We recommend that you turn the volume up on your TV remote as loud as it will go and use the volume button on the streamback remote to control the volume of the playback. The mute button turns off the volume on the playback of streams temporarily and back on again. The home or desktop button is used to go immediately to the desktop of Streambox. This doesn't actually quit Streambox, but it actually takes you back to the desktop of the machine. The backspace button is used to go back a number of spaces during the input of text. The standby button temporarily puts Streambox into a sleep mode. However, we don't recommend you use this simply because we need to update your system overnight when the unit is not being used. 